November, Fox 10 News told you about a pending project to put a bridge over the Mobile River. It's a plan that would alleviate some congestion that's headed in and out of the Wallace Tunnel. A topic of discussion tonight at the Mobile Planning Organization's transportation meeting, and uh, some of you actually weighed in on all of that. Our Russell Colburn was there. He's joining us live. Russell, what are people saying about that proposed bridge? Well, Lenise, they want the bridge, and in fact, everyone I spoke to tonight said they wouldn't even mind paying a toll if that's what it came down to. One man I spoke to said, I'm from Florida. I'm used to tolls, so if that was the only option, they'll take it. They just want something done. The Mobile Planning Organization took the public's input tonight for Destination 2040, a long-term transportation plan. No doubt stop traffic here at the Wallace Tunnel was on many minds. And during the summertime, it's always congested when you're trying to, especially if you're trying to drive through there around 5 o'clock. It can be inconvenient, but also unsafe. And I actually had two accidents there myself where people just hit you because of the congestion that goes right into the tunnel. It was on the exit going westbound. Uh, the road is in horrible shape. If you're not paying close attention, uh, you, could, you could have an accident just by the condition of the road, especially on a motorcycle. A bridge over the Mobile River would alleviate a lot of these issues, but it's too early to tell right now if it will become a reality real soon. Right now, the, the long-range transportation plan is the regular federal funding that comes to Mobile. So plans like the bridge that don't have scheduled funding yet are going to be a visionary project until they're scheduled funding for it. Gary Nelson attended tonight. He hopes the bridge project gets past the visionary stages. I think it would be in a lot of ways. Uh, one reason would be the defense route, which is part of uh, Interstate 10, and also it would alleviate some of the big trucks and things that have to go through the tunnel right now. Now I'm told Aldot will have a public meeting on the bridge project come spring. Live in Mobile, Russell.